Good morning and sliding in the afternoon. Judy Allen here in San Antonio, Texas. We keep it simple or step it up. So we've been doing some simple stuff, right? Because we need it just to keep steady. So today we're stepping it up and we're going to show you this bonus card with our free kit to go with a $35 order or it is $50 if you want the bonus card plus some embellishments that coordinate with this. But that's all right. Let's go down the hands. Let me show you what we got. And let's do this, all right? This is very fun. So this is what you get in the Cut to Go class. You, this is the bonus, right? And that's what we're going to make. And then these are, you get three cards. You get a total of six cards plus two of each, right, to make the, the cards in the kit. So let's go ahead and let's make this. So this is, we're starting off with just your standard basic card, right? First thing we're going to do with this, we're going to make, so we're basically taking our whole autumn theme and we're making a Christmas card out of it. So what we're going to do with this is we're just going to put this down here and show you how to make this. You know, and you always get PDF tutorials as well too when we do different classes. It doesn't matter if it's kit to go or not. So we're just going to sit there and I'm just going to put these three here in the center. And this is sort of, sort of it, so this sort of reminds me of making like a flower arrangement, right? You're just sort of going to arrange leaves. So, when we did this, so you've got a mixture of leaves going on here that we've created, a cut out. And it's all die cut, right, from the All About Autumn kit. So, I have got this here that I've stamped already and embossed in silver. And this one, I just did the veins. So, we're just going to put these right here at the end, right here. And I'm just going to use, again, a glue dot at the bottom of both of these. So we're just building it, right? So basically, we're going to take all these leaves. But the main thing is you want to make sure the leaves are inside of the card, right? Because this is going to go in an envelope. Or not. It's up to you if you want to hand deliver it. I mean, it's just as easy to hand deliver it as it is to somebody. Right? Hand deliver it if you're putting it on, or sometimes with a gift. You know, if I was going to somebody's house. But sit there and just have this right there with the gift I'm bringing. All right, so basically here is I've got these next big leaves here. So I'm just going to position them. Now the nice thing about these leaves that I like is, is when I'm done, if I want to curl these leaves, I can. So these are some very nice leaves that are easy to do some curling with them and give them more of a 3D. Especially I'm going to give this to somebody and hand it to them with a gift, right? You could also sit there and put this design on the outside of a bag. I've done that before. Attach my card to the bag. Use a clear envelope to do it or something other means. And we're just going to layer this up here, okay? So I'm just sort of crisscrossing. So I'm taking the bigger leaves first. And let me see, my picture just went off so that I could sit there. So what I did is I took a picture of my card, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm just alternating left and right, basically. This one's going to be in the middle. The nice thing about this, though, is even though these two are attached, Again, this was just embossed with silver. So everything I did on here is pretty much embossed with silver. If you didn't have the silver, what you could do is you could just as easily use, I'm trying to think through my mind at the moment, I would use a slate. His name is a slate color. I'm trying to think of the color. It's a bluish gray. Anyway, you could stamp it with that and put some Winka Stella and most of get the same effect that we're getting here. Okay, so let me see. I'm looking for my other ones here. So this is already here. If we have to put some more glue or something down there, we can. So I'm just going to sit here. here. Alright, and we're going to make this bonus card here. So again, this is heat embossed with silver. Use a silver powder, right? That we're going to heat emboss with Versamark. And again, I'm just, I'm just building. It's like building a flower arrangement, right? basically what we're doing. So what I've done here is I've literally gone and die cut two leaves of every leaf that is in the suite in the bundle there. So I'm just going to add these here. So right now I'm just going to sort of gently put these where I want them. Right here. Okay, that's where I'm going. All right. Try and see from my own picture if I could see. So I would okay. use, I could just as easily use, use glue, right? All right, put that in there. Or not. So in this particular case, I didn't. But you see how easy. Now this is actually done on. This is actually paper that's got the actual silver foiled look to it on it. So that's what I've done here. Instead of doing any kind of embossing or anything, 
I've just sat there and just die cut the leaf directly, right? So the nice thing is, I don't have to do any kind of heat embossing. I've already just got my flowers going there, my leaves going here. We're actually going to be covering this up. So that's why I'm not really too worried about it. I'm more worried about just getting them down and getting to stay there. Because so once you have them down, then you can fluff them and do whatever you want to with them. Like I said, it's much, very much like flower arranging, right? So if you've never flower arranged, right? So the key to with flower arranging is you want to make sure you've got items in there that's got wiring in it so you can flex it that way. You need to test out the leaves and all too if you're going to do any kind of stuff like this. You want to be sure to test it out first to make sure how flexible things are for you. Let's see where my glue There we go. And then we'll get this one on here. So really and truly, this doesn't take very long to assemble. Uh, mainly is, is getting everything die cut out first. And we're just, see how this is going to all accumulate in the middle? And I'm going to go ahead and get ready to get my tag. So what I'm going to do with this to give myself here is we're going to actually double stack this. So you can actually double stack your dimensionals. And that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put them on the outer layer. And that way uh, it's going to give me some extra height, right? So I'm just take these both off and I'm going to sit there and put the extra on top. So when you're doing something like this, this is just an easy way to sit up there and get the height that you need. Like this here, and we'll get that out there. So then I'm just going to come across this right here. So if you didn't, if it was something was in the way or you didn't want it there, I could actually, so I could actually slip right here. So I'm just going to come in here with my scissors because it's going to be hidden, right? And that way I can actually get my dimensional down in between the two. I get that, but I might have to even trim that one off a little bit. Yeah, I might have to trim that off a little bit. Let me get that curved up a little bit there. So, right, leaves right now, doesn't matter. I mean, it's giving you a whole wintery scene right there. I just want to be able to curl that up just a little bit. Okay, and I did that, baby, but just doing that right there. So, there I've got it right there, pretty much built. See? So, now that if I want to curl these leaves, uh, let's see, I don't see my bone folder, so let me just use my scissors here. Well, these are already easy, right? Because these are already die cut that way. It's already got where you can easily fold these like this here. So it's really more stuff like this that if you want to. You could even use a pencil. I wish I had my... Oh, I do see my bone folder now. As I can say, I did a class last week on making cards for kids in the hospital, so I took some of my stuff with me. I don't quite have everything back to its proper place yet. But you can just see, now those, this one's not going to be easy, but the bigger one will. Okay. And again, I'm gonna, all I'm going to do is take my bone folder and I'm just going to come behind here and get a little lift. Okay. So it's not like, you see that the difference? So I'm not really tearing anything. I'm just giving it just a little bit of 3D effect. Let's see what this one does for me. And personally, I think it's just easier to work really from the underneath that side. But it's really whatever shape you want to go and get to. But there you go. See, we're just giving some shape here to the bigger stuff that doesn't have that already. So that's all I'm doing. I could have done that first, but I'd like to go ahead and get my stuff down first and then come back and do what I want to do. Gives me an idea shape-wise and everything else. But just this is a, just a nice winter Christmas card. Looky there. Okay. So the only other thing I was looking at adding is I was looking at adding a bow right in here. So I already made the bow and I left it attached so that hopefully I could, this ribbon is on back order right now. I always try to think about where my bow is, which, which way I cut it. Look, it looks like this, like that, so it looks the same. Okay, it looks like that. So this is actually on back order, it should be coming in again soon. And I'm just gonna put it right down here, okay? And I'm gonna put it with a glue dot. Now I might have to trim that stem just a little bit more. So like I said, this is the bonus. So yeah, so when you get the card kits and kits to go and all, and any of our kits, everything's already pre-die cut and everything for you, right? So you have to do the stamping, right? You have to do the stamping. 
All right, so there you go. There is the bonus card. So I can, when I go and mail this, I can tuck this in or I can trim it off. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave it like that. So you can see how pretty this bonus card that comes with the kit to go. And like I said, to get more details, ooh, I've got a couple I left out. Get more details, you just need to go and it's going to be in the newsletter that we'll send out this week. And you'll get all the details there. I'm still got to get this one in here. I got one other one. I'm not, no leaf is being left behind here. So see, these leaves are really nice because you can stick them anywhere. In fact, I'll stick one right there. And I'll stick one on the other side. I didn't realize it. See, when you deal with white on white, when you're creating, sometimes it just has a tendency to blend in. All right, let me get this one here. So I could, I could easily stick it here. I could easily stick it in here if I wanted to. I think I'll go ahead and stick it here because I can, right? And that little gap, I can curl it just like that. All right, and then we'll get one on here. And we'll get this one here. I thought it was done. I, I left it. We're not leaving the leaves behind. I, if I die cut them, we're going to get them done. Get them in there, right? Okay, let me get this last one over here and here. And then we've got, oops, stuck to me. Okay. And then we'll just stick it in here. Like that. Okay. So there we go. Get all those leaves in there. Look how pretty that turned out. All right. So that is just very simple to do. I want to show you how simple that is. Like I said, this is a bonus card. So yes, yeah, so we have a kit to go class. It's available through October 31st. And you'll get those in the mail. Those will be mailed out on November the 1st. So you want to check out the measurements and details of this card here. And also the details of the kit to go, the free kit to go class, right? All right. With that, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, would be sure to follow us here, not only on Facebook, but also on YouTube. And we post our cards on Instagram. With that, go out there, create share and give this is a great time of the year to do it you got thanksgiving coming up and christmas and all that kind of stuff there's no reason why you can't have time to do that now if you start planning now so with that be blessed and look forward to seeing you next week on keep it simple or step it up bye